Hey all, welcome back. So glad to have you guys continuing to watch these amazing Selenium tutorial videos where you guys are going to become amazing automation experts. If you remember, where we last left off was we created a very nice framework that still had a few issues that could cause us problems when it comes to maintenance. And so I asked you guys how we can possibly resolve the issues that were lingering as a result of our code. Well, that answer is called the page object model. And what the page object model is, is basically a model that states that each web page shall be represented as an object in our code. And each web page is going to have actions that interact with its elements like methods. So those actions are going to be methods that interact with its page elements. So for example, here we have this QTP tutorial.net page. So what we're going to do in our code is represent it as a page object, something like QTP tutorial login page. And it's going to be able to interact with its elements, such as username, password, login, remember me, and anything else that's on the page. It's just a logical abstraction of the actual web page into code. For example, let me draw this out for you guys. Okay, great. Now that I'm done with this awesome drawing, just keep in mind, this is just for illustration purposes. This is our login page where we pass in a username, a password, and then click the login button, right? So this is what it actually looks like in HTML on our browser. So what we're going to do is in code, we're actually going to have an object called a login page. And this login page is going to be able to do things like log in. So if we wanted to enter username, password, and hit the login button, what this is going to equate to in code is login page dot login. And what are you going to do? Probably pass in a username and the password. Boom done. 